And like I say, if I make mistakes, please correct me because sometimes people move around. I don't always hear everything I need to hear. And Jennifer Barone, I see you in there. We're going to try to, we're gonna try to get to you. Yeah, all right. So, uh, Rorschach, you are on. All right. Uh, hi, everybody. And, uh, of course, I've been... Uh, thinking about uh, Lawrence Ferlinghetti ever since uh, we got the word yesterday and uh, a, a literary giant for all ages. Not only that though, he was the literary giant who lived in my neighborhood and I saw him going about his daily business for many years as I went about mine and I was in North Beach today and it's a beautiful day and North Beach is going on. North Beach will go on. Sacred Grounds will go on. And San Francisco is a city of poets. So I'm going to read a, something from Lawrence Ferlinghetti. Pity the Nation, after Khalil Gibran, 2007. Pity the Nation whose people are sheep and whose shepherds mislead them. Pity the nation whose leaders are liars, whose sages are silenced and whose bigots haunt the airway. Pity the nation that raises not its voice except to praise conquerors and acclaim the bully as hero and aims to rule the world by force and by torture. Pity the nation that knows no other language but its own and no other culture but its own. Pity the nation whose breath is money and sleeps the sleep of the too well fed. Pity the nation, oh Pity the people who allow their rights to erode and their freedoms to be washed away. My country, tears of thee, sweet land of liberty. Thanks. Wow. Oh, Oh, here we are. Uh, let me grab my text. Hold on a second. So, more than 40 years ago, somebody gave me this in North Beach. Beatitude, issue number 29. It was a tribute to Bob Kaufman. And, uh, and then in the middle of it, this is a wonderful picture here. I don't know if you can see that. It says, Ferlinghetti and Pooch. And uh, that's an amazing set, uh, and we will close it out with uh, some more words from Lawrence Ferlinghetti. Uh, that was in this magazine here. This is the Loud Prayer. Our Father, whose arts in heaven hollow be thy name unless things change thy kingdom come and gone thy will be undone on earth as it isn't heaven give us this day our daily bread at least three times a day 
and lead us not into temptation. Too often on weekdays, but deliver us from evil, whose presence remains unexplained. In the kingdom of power and glory. Oh, man. All right.